Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another Empires and Puzzles video. And in this video, we're going to be looking at the second hero, second five-star hero that I have chosen to give a limit break to. So if you tuned in for the first video, um, you saw that that hero was Athena that you can see here. If you haven't watched that video, I highly recommend you do um, because I think it gives a lot of good insight into key considerations for limit breaking five star heroes to get the most value out of it. These resources are so rare that I personally don't think it's a decision that should be taken lightly. Um, so I talk all about that in that video and I think there's a lot of usable advice that you can take with you regardless of what your roster is. So in that video, I also talked about, um, well, I talked about my thoughts on what heroes are most important to limit break. And there were kind of two schools of thought. One is to give a little bit more life into older heroes that offer something very valuable. And the other is to pick one of the strongest heroes in the game and invest into them. And so that's what I've done for my second limit break with Quinnell. So Quinnell is basically a brand new hero. Uh, she was in the, uh, what's it called? The Clash of Knights event, part of the wolf family. We'll be seeing a raven family or whatever eventually, maybe the next time that event comes around. But I think she was the prize of that portal. There were some, some great heroes in there, uh, like Quinnell, Ludwig. Um, what's the name of the other one? Wolfgang was pretty good. But she was the one that I think a lot of people wanted. And let's look at why, and then I'll break down my decision here. So right from the start, fast speed, which is great. Ranger class is pretty good. Not one of my favorites, but I think it's got a lot of attack nodes compared to other classes. Um, this wolf family for two or three heroes, 35 or 50% chance to make a cast buff undispellable, um, which is cool. But what does she do? 320% damage to the target and nearby enemies. Quite high. Nothing insane, but quite high. What makes her really good is the second uh, bullet point here. The caster gets an additional plus 40% power for the next special skill they cast. The additional power increases by 40% each turn up to a maximum of 200% total. So she's fast speed. It's not unlikely for a fast speed hero to fire twice in one match. And adding 200% to the next, she hits remarkably hard. It's it's actually insane. Um, so I figured she's really good. She's going to be good for a while because that initial hit has good damage. That second hit has insane damage. Uh, and I'll, I'll put some videos here on the end where I maximize that with attack boost and um, with attack boost and defense down just so you can see kind of the absurd um, end of that spectrum for how much damage she can do. But anyways, my thinking here was was pretty simple. She's really good. Um, she's already strong, but now she's kind of like six star hero strong. Um, and I felt that was a safe investment. She's very good now. And I, I believe that she's going to be good for a while be, because of how good that second part of her special is. I mean, that can make her hit um, harder than Liana does to one and Quinnell's doing that to three on that second charge if you charge it up. So just insane amounts of damage. Um, and I see that being relevant for a while. So she's not really a hero that makes the rest of your team better. In fact, you want to choose a team that makes her better. Um, but yeah, my thinking here is a little bit more short and sweet than it was in the first video. That first video is really the one that goes into um, all the depth on what are all the other things to think about? And again, I highly recommend you watch that if you haven't already, um, if you're interested in, in trying to make the best decision you can with your limit break resources, because uh, I think that will empower you to do so. So now I wanna add some um, battles here on the end so that you can see what she's capable of at the first charge, which is quite respectable, and what she's capable of if you maximize uh, that damage. And I don't know that I'll be able to get the, you know, perfect storm, like best case scenario would be to get 
the Black Knight attack buff all the way maxed, Athena's defense down all the way maxed. You know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to recreate something like that. In fact, I'm not going to try to to uh, capture something as difficult as that, but I want to just give you some ballpark numbers on what she's capable of. And look at that attack stat, almost, almost at 1,000 with close to 900 defense and the upper half of 1,600 HP. Just insane. All right, so let's look at her in action, and you can see uh, why this was an easy decision for me. All right, so we're going to pick on our buddy Ray here for a minute. Um... Because he's the only person I could find quickly that had a red hero on the side, and the team that I want to bring is the one you can see above. So we will have Athena there for um, really deep defense down. We're going to have Heimdall there for somewhat of an attack buff, and uh, we're going to see how crazy of a hit we can get out of Quinnell. At that point, it might be to only one or two heroes, uh, depending on how well we're able to accomplish this, but... You can easily um, you can easily understand that that is possible to three heroes. Okay, so let's jump in here and see what kind of boards we're going to be working with. Um, let me know if you found the same thing I have, which is that the friendly boards often tend to be far better um, than boards encountered elsewhere in the game, which is kind of strange. Not that I'm a conspiracy theory person. Um, but it seems pretty pretty shocking. This is pretty average, though, so maybe it's just my imagination. Okay, so one good thing to do, really, is to get that first hit fired by Quinnell. Um, important to remember that it doesn't matter if it lands, so even if it's dodged, it's starting the clock on powering up to the uh, seriously strong secondary hit. Um, so if we're to accomplish what we hope to, it would be very good to get some healing going here. All right, the new Gravemaker costume hitting everyone. Very cool. Okay, so we'll give this a try. See what we get for the first hit. All right, 540 to a target that has very, very, very high, um... Defense. A pretty good HP, but over 1100 is, is nuts. I've got Heimdall at, um, at plus 20, and he's one of the highest defense heroes in the game, and he's just only a tad bit higher than her. So here's a fun thing to keep in mind. Uh, I'm thinking, okay, I can try to attack her with Cobalt. Hopefully it hits. If not, I can follow up with the green tiles. It's actually much smarter for me to not use Cobalt at all because she only has 7 HP, those greens will easily do that. However, if she dodges Cobalt and she gets a minion, those greens will not kill. So uh, just a bit of strategy advice there. Okay, we are struggling here. So got to try to get some blues going or we are going to be dead. It's just not happening. Okay, well, you might win this round, Ray. Yep. No dice here. We lost our reviver. That's crazy. I couldn't even get three blue matches the entire time. Okay, there's no point in sticking around here. Yep. Defeat. We get it. Wow, they're really holding on. <laughs> Lingering on that defeat there. Okay. So in the interest of expediting this, I'm just going to edit something on the end. I thought that was going to go a little bit more smoothly, but since there's the high possibility of it not, um, we're just going to edit something in so you can see what I'm trying to show you in a more consolidated amount of time.
Okay, so we've got Crave Maker with, hmm, well, not a perfect one. Maybe I'll try another one after this, but unfortunately he has his Paladin talent, but the defense down from Athena is about to wear off. So she is at her full plus 200 power for next special skill. And so we've got minus 45, and this probably equals about minus 40 which is quite strong. That's stronger than Morel normally gives. And here's what she can do with that. No attack boost. <laughs> 1,400 to Gravemaker with his Paladin talent going on there. Um, yeah, so to three heroes, that's like... You're lucky to find a sniper in the game that does that to one hero. So, absolutely nuts. Let me see if I can get one better than that. Um, so, yeah, we'll uh, keep trying. All right, I think I found a good look at what we're aiming for here. Um, forget what I said about friendly boards being better. I'm getting horrific boards here. Um, so let's get that cleanse out of the way. Let's get this defense down placed. Um... 2,000 HP, we can use Cobalt to drive it up a little bit higher and not worry about killing anyone. Now we have attack down on us because we didn't think about that. So let's get a cleanse here. All right, we cannot let Catalan hit, so minus 57. We just need to uh, get one more hit there. All right, finally, up oh, 61. Pretty close. 61 and 45. No attack boost again, so this would be even higher uh, with the attack boost. But let's see. Will we get... We're not going to do 1800, but um, it's going to be quite strong. So... Man, I wish I had the attack boost. Oh, well. 1600. <laughs> Absolutely unreal absolutely unreal so keep in mind it's not like that's easy to do right you've got a you've got to fire her special once you then got to charge her a second time you've got to wait four or five turns for that to reach its max you've got to do the defense down thing so i'm just showing the upper limits of what's possible but it's not like this is happening in in every raid and i'm just able to do this all the time um it's just crazy to see that it's even possible at all um, but yeah, that's why, that's why I chose Quinnell. She's an absolute monster. And, uh, yeah. So let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. Um, what your choices were. I know a lot of people have chosen, have chosen costume Catalan, um, who's a great hero. Uh, a lot of people chose Frigg. This is where I think a lot of people jumped on it too soon. And they're just like, what's my best green that I have right now? okay, that's the one that I should do. And maybe that's right for the way that you want to play. You don't want to think about it that much, but if you're like me and you do want to think about it, um, take your time. It's kind of like making an ascension choice where you're like, all right, I've got seven tabards. You know, I my best purple option is Quintus. Like, I guess he could be good in rush attack. Um, you know, okay, I'll, I'll just ascend him. And then you use up those tabards and then you pull a really good purple hero at some point and you're like, well, I regret that strongly and i've watched people do that before so same thing with ethers just because it's the best green you have at the moment doesn't mean that you should do it right away maybe you wait a little bit and you're like okay i've waited long enough that's fine right it's not about making the perfect decision it's about making the best decision you can and that means that occasionally you'll make a mistake all right so one more time we've got um minus 41 percent defense and we've got plus 30 percent attack and only, oh, and she's at 200 again. So let's see what this looks like. Probably about the same. 1357. So yeah, combining her with defense down, I've, I've been really liking that team actually. Because um, I've got overhealing from two heroes. I've got, you know, blue and green are both strong on their own. Um, so anyways, that's the second hero I've chosen. I'm probably going to be looking at red next. Um, so once I make that decision... Once the quest comes around, I'm probably going to do two reds at the same time, and I think I know who they're going to be already. Um, so yeah, once I make those decisions, I will do another video like this where I walk you through my thought process 
And uh, the whole goal here is to get, try to give you some food for thought in making these decisions for yourself, even if your roster is very different than my own. Um, so yeah, as always, thoughts in the comments below. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Build up your good karma here. Help out the channel. Win-win situation. Couple clicks and you'll be on your way. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you. I will see you and I will see you in the next <laughs> video.